Hello, my name's Mike M Zero MSN, and those of you that uh, follow the channel may remember. Um, oh, might have been a few weeks ago now that I started building a ATAS controller. Um, now, the idea uh, behind this is um, that I, although I have a Yaesu radio, I, I wanted to also try um, to use the ATAS with my Kenwood um, mobile and also with um, a couple of other radios, like for instance, the ICOM, um, uh, what is it? It's a, a 706 uh, Mark II Golf, uh, Mark II G, uh, which is um, a lovely little mobile radio. Uh, it's quite old now, but still a brilliant piece of kit. Um, and I wanted to use the ATAS with it, but wasn't unable to do so because of the fact that it wasn't, the radio wasn't able to control um, the antenna. So, I decided to, to build um, a little circuit uh, with the help of um, John, uh, GHCQX, um, and uh, we did precisely that. He, he uh, drew the circuit diagram for me um, and I had the pre circuit boards uh, made and then started populating the board. Um, well, this is the uh, Mark III, I think, um, of the board and um, the circuit. Uh, and uh, I'm just about to try it out in the car um, to see if it will indeed control the ATAS. Um, right, let's go for it. And here we go. There is the finished circuit board um, with the two power regulators on. And the uh, this is a 100 uh, micro Henry coil. Um, I would suggest in reality it's probably better off being... Um, closer to 68 micro henrys but 100 will do for this because it's going to be for hf um, and there we are we just need to uh, wire our cabling in and uh, we should have a little power controller for the atas antenna Right, okay, so here's the rather rather poor uh, installation at the moment. What I've done is I've got the, the power cables for both the radio and the ATAS controller uh, into a power source. They're just loosely thrown into the, uh, into the boot at the moment with the antenna connector, which is the one on the right hand side, and then another antenna connector going off to the radio. Uh, the white cable is the control cable. Right, let's take you around to the other side. So on the outside, as you can see, we've got the um, the ATAS attached to a bootlip mount. Um, I think I might have to make it a little bit more sturdier than that, but um, we'll just see if it goes up and down. Okay, let's see if I can get this all on video nicely. Uh, I'll key up and I'll just put the antenna up a little bit. Put it on FM. There we go. And I'll just key up. You can see the SWL is quite high. Just bring it down up. Up again, to tune that a bit better. Let's go back to the other mode and uh, we'll just find somebody. There we go. Well, there you go. As you can see, it's quite successful. Uh, it certainly moves the antenna up and down. Uh, and if you put your radio into um, AM or FM or CW even, uh, whilst you are tuning the antenna or moving the antenna up and down, you can get a response on the SWR meter built into the radio to tune it. And it works perfectly. 
but I also bought a, um, a, a Chinese import, a AX17, I think it was, uh, which supposedly was an automatic um, version of, of this. Um, so let's see if that works. So here we go. This is the, the other version. This is the, uh, the AX417 Pro, which um, I've just literally thrown in the boot. Uh, with nothing other than the, the antenna connected uh, and then the other part connected to the back of the radio. Let's see if this works better. That's a low SWR. It's nice. Quite a band. Seven meter, uh, seven megahertz, forty meter band. Let's see if I can get this to work. Well, there you go. As you can see, they well, they both worked as they should. The um, the AX seventeen Pro was was absolutely faultless, to be honest with you. It came with all the pre uh, requisite cables needed to plug into the back of the uh, the ICOM and also into the Kenwood. Uh, and once plugged in, was self-powered by the output of the ATU sockets on the back of the uh, of the radios. Um, so he plugged it into the antenna, plugged it into the back of the the radio, um, selected the band, pressed tune, and off it went. It basically tuned the antenna um, and didn't hit uh, or miss a beat. Again, I couldn't tune forty, but that was um, purely because of the fact that I don't think. Uh, the uh, the boot lip mount has a good enough ground um, to do 40 meters, um, something I could sort out, but uh, for the, the sake of this particular experiment, uh, I didn't find necessary to do. Anyway, the antenna works well, the tuner works well. Um, I didn't do any transmitting, um, at least not for the video. Um, I can say that it does work. Anyway, that's it. Um, very, very quick uh, video um, this week. Um, more to come, um, but not in the short term. Very busy at the moment at work. So um, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.